It's me, Pastor Rob, and we're here on the second week of Advent, and it's Monday, but if it's not Monday when you're watching this, that's fine too. And this week, we uh, continue to light a hope, a candle for hope, but we have a new candle this week, and that is the peace candle. And as you light the candle, um, perhaps uh, you want to just light both of them. Uh, this week, I'm thinking both as I light these about reasons why I'm hopeful, but also uh, for people that are in need of God's peace this week. That's what I'm mindful of as, as I'm lighting those candles. But again, as you light them, I invite you to kind of take a moment, maybe again, Christ is my peace. Breathe in and take a moment. Christ is my peace. Sort of again, start to center ourselves. Now we move to the word. And it's from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory is of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Henry Nouwen writes, The subject of our ministry is Jesus Christ, the word who was from the beginning with God and was made flesh to live among us. To be a Christian is to witness to this word, to reveal the presence of this word within us as well as among us. An additional comment. The incarnation, that means God becoming one of us, is the central mystery of our redemption. We will never be able to exhaust the theological and spiritual riches that come to us from contemplating the reality that God, the creator of the universe, became one of us. The incarnation is also made real in each one of the baptized. We put on Christ and thereby become prophet, priest, and king for the world. Nowadays, many people often wonder where God is in times of anxiety, and don't we know those? Uncertainty and hostility, it can seem that God is very far away. In this holiday season, some people feel this sense of unease even more profoundly. It is because of this that we must remember that we can be Christ for those with whom we come in contact. May our actions serve to bring even greater joy, even greater glory to God today. So it's helpful for me, again, there's a Bible verse now, some Henry Nouwen commentary, and then another commentary. That's a lot to process, and that's good to do. It can also be good just if there's an even smaller bite you want to chew on. What I'm thinking about uh, today is the last word that he writes. It is because of this that we must remember that we can be Christ for those with whom we come in contact. And right now, we're not supposed to have a lot of contact with people face-to-face. Uh, -face. There's still plenty of ways, uh, virtually, over the phone, maybe uh, at a distance, at a porch, that we can be in contact with one another and that we bring the light of Christ to those people. Again, as we move into prayer today, there's a simple prayer here, but in my prayer today, especially the second candle now, I'm thinking about reasons why I'm hopeful, what I'm uh, looking forward to doing, not only this Christmas, but uh, this week with the news of the vaccine and, and where, where that's going to go. I'm also thinking about peace and how I don't feel a lot of peace in my heart right now. And so I'm praying for peace for myself, but also thinking about some of those people right now who are just really feeling pushed to the max. So we pray. Lord Jesus, help me be Christ for all those I meet today. I pray this in your name. We also pray for those who are struggling to take care of loved ones with COVID, who are waiting for test results, for nurses and doctors and other care team. Pray for so many whose lives have been made anxious and weary. May they feel your presence in others and be given strength to be Christ for each other. All this we pray in your son's name. Amen. Okay, well, blessings to you this Advent day.